What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you as always from Cardiff City. And in this video today, I have a fix for the broken baseband issue. Yes, this here. I've had quite a few comments on the enable to activate with the blue triangle and the red triangle. Um, this one with the blue triangle is a broken baseband issue. Now, I'm going to be using a program called the HF, uh, the HFZ Activator Tool to do a premium bypass on this device, okay? Now, once accessed the device, you will be able to sign into iCloud, you will be able to use the App Store, and you will be able to use everything on your iPhone. It also works on iPads, uh, cellular iPads as well. Um, it, it's compatible for all Checkmate devices, okay? Um, also, it works on the latest iOS 16.4, works on iOS 15. Today, I'm gonna be doing it on a product red iPhone 7, which is on the latest iOS 15.7.4. So, the first thing you wanna do is download this tool. There'll be a link for it in the description below. HF said activation RAM disk tool, okay? Uh, version 9.1, right, okay. Now, what you want to do is, once you've downloaded this here, yeah, you need to register the ECID number there. To register the ECID number, it's a simple process. All you need to do is contact just a tech, okay? He's on Telegram, private message him on Telegram. Uh, if you can't find him on Telegram, uh, just Google his name, just a tech, or go on to his YouTube channel, Just A Tech, and he shows you exactly how to private message him. It's simple, it's straightforward, and this process is really to fix this here, the unable to activate, sorry, <laughs> the unable to activate broken bass band is absolutely cheap as, uh, it's cheap, really cheap, for as little, as little as seven US dollars. Seven US dollars. That's all it is. For as little as seven US dollars, you can have your phone or your iPad up and running, right? If you have this problem here, okay? What I do need to point out is this. You, this method does not fix the SIM card issue, okay? So if you want to use, um, if you obviously, you know, you want to get it activated to make phone calls, use data, you know, send iMessages um, through the SIM card, not going to work, okay? It will not activate the SIM card. But what it will do is ga gain you full access to your device. Like I said, you can sign into iCloud and use every option, everything on there, apart from the SIM services, basically. So that's it. And like I said, for as cheap as seven US dollars, you can't go wrong. It's really cheap. So first thing to do, if you've got a device that is a A8 or A9, um, that has an A8 or A9 chip, you have to tick that box, okay? If it's an A10 or an A11 device, right? Then you don't need to tick that box. And also, if it's A10 or A11, you can use a lightning cable, a standard lightning cable like I'm using right here, right now, okay? Simple process, right? So, if you do have an A9 or an A8 chip, then you are gonna need a DCSD engineering cable 
or a Magico adapter, right? That's what you're gonna need if it's A9 or below. But if it's A10 or A11, so like if you've got any of the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, X, no problem, use Lightning, same as the 7, you know? If you're using um, cellular iPads or um, other Wi-Fi iPads that are um, A10 or A9, like for um, A10, or A, well, for a start, I need to elaborate there. A, uh, no iPad was ever made with an A11 chip. They went straight from A10 to A12. The only devices that have A11 chips is an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and an iPhone X. iPads never made them, yeah? So... If you've got, um, say, a, a, a sixth generation or a seventh generation iPad, they have A10 chips, okay? Um, a fifth generation iPad is an A8, just like an Air 2 is an A8. Now, with them, obviously, you'd need a DCSD cable or a Magico adapter, and basically, you would have to tick that box to proceed further. So... I'm going to basically jump right on in and select. The first thing you do is select this here, DFU Helper, okay? So basically, as you can see, it says click Start. And what this should do is put the device in a recovery state, okay? Like so. Yeah, Finder, Finder and iTunes, they might pop up. Just cancel and close. So as you can see, it's in, it's in a recovery state now. So let's proceed in putting it into DFU mode, okay? Click Start, Power, Volume Down. Go with the power, keep hold of the volume down. Okay, it's detected in DFU mode. Let's close Finder again. And now it's in DFU mode. What you simply want to do is just click this, activate hello. So now it's... Uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's exploiting, uploading the stages. As you can see, the percentage bar is going up. The phone is dull. As you can see, there it's in purple state. It's in a purple state. So let's okay that. Right, so that's excellent news, right? So serial number successfully written to device. The device will now reboot. So we simply want to just select OK and let the device reboot itself, OK? Once the device has been rebooted, what we want to do is then put it back into DFU mode, okay? When doing this the first time, a box might pop up. Uh, if the box pops up for you to select, um, uh, it'll give you two options. What you want to do is select USB serial, okay, to enable the purple state. But as I've already done a bypass on this on this phone already, that's why it didn't show it by there. Okay, so now we're at this at the stage where it says editing serial number at 33%. Uh, simply put the device back into DFU mode. So um, volume down, power key, different with different devices. So uh, look look that up if you could.
brilliant. It's now in DFU mode. Find it'll keep opening all the time. And uh, just, just cancel and close it. Great stuff. So as you can see, click continue to finish the bypass, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Continue. And you can see it's basically doing its thing now. It's downloading the bundle. It's going to run the exploit. It'll say 100% done, and your device will be good to go. As I will show you now. Let's put the phone for us on the side for a sec. Now, as you can see, 75% it is mounting. This is the last step now. Activating the device, almost there people, almost there. You get full access to your device. Look at that, 100% done, happy use of iDevice. Great stuff. What more do we want, right? Exactly. So now, we're now done with the program. No longer need to use this. And let's basically reboot the device. Bingo. So yeah, that's it. It's simple steps. You just do what I done, do what's on the screen, and you are good to go. So let's disconnect this now. We don't need the Mac. So let's get this set up, shall we? So as you can tell, there was a broken baseband on you. Straight to data and privacy. Look at that. Look at that, people. In. Job done. Job done. For as little as seven US dollars. What a remarkable service. Massive shout out to Just the Tech for, you know, getting this program and making this happen and all the developers of the HFZ Activator tool. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you. No more broken baseband. And what, do you know what else is so good about this service? If your phone or your iPad or whatever, you know if it starts lagging and you need to erase all content and settings, no problem. Erase all content and settings, that's fine. And then go back on your computer, yeah? And bingo. Do the bypass again and you will be exactly right here. As I said earlier in the video, what does that say? As you can see, mobile data issue detected. Of course, it's going to be detected. Just simply select OK. Why? Well, like I said, you cannot use a SIM card on it. Hence the reason it's a broken baseband. So, yeah, do whatever you want now. Sign into iCloud. Sign into your iCloud account, uh, go on the App Store, do anything you want on this device. The broken baseband that you had that was broken is now fixed. And it's as simple, simple steps as registering an ECID number with ju just a tech. All you've got to do is private message the man on Telegram. You are good. You are good people. It's a really cheap price and you're good to go. The download link will be available in the description below my video. Um, alongside with all the devices that are compatible with it, okay? 
like I said, if it's an A10 chip or A11 chip, then um, it's fine to use a lightning cable, just like I've done, okay? If you have um, A9 or below, you will need a, either a DCSD cable or a Magico adapter cable, yeah? Really, really hope this video has helped you, you folks today and glad that I was able to bring it to your attention because I've had a lot of messages about broken baseband issues. Here's the key. Here's the video. Do this. You are good to go. Check out my other content as well. I've got um, my entire channel consists of iCloud, uh, bypasses, um, MDM remote management, um, activation issues, iTunes issues, etc. If your problem, if you have any of those problems on your Apple devices, to which I know thousands of you do, probably millions, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Smash the like and subscribe to the channel because there is plenty more content to come. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.